Hey, welcome back to 706 Farms. I'm 706 Farms, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen the homemade body armor videos that are also out on YouTube. Well, I decided to do my own. I took some construction paper and some duct tape, and I made a plate. And we're gonna see if Betsy, my .177 caliber air rifle, can either penetrate the uh, plate or if it will stop. So, let's get to it. So in front of me, I have here the uh, homemade plate that I made um, and my three types of ammo. I have my red tips, the uh, all lead pointed tips, and my hollow points. And I'm going to see if there's a difference between the three or if, you know, they do the exact same. But I'm looking forward to it. So let's get to it. So for the first pellet we will be shooting will be the hollow point. Uh, second pellet will be the daisy pointed tip. And the third pellet will be the uh, red tip. Let's see how this does. Well, the results weren't too as uh, what I expected. I expected the hollow point to stop, but I also expected the uh, pointed tips to go through. But this video was a lot of fun to make, and I'm gonna probably try to improve on this. Maybe add some more uh, construction paper, do a couple layers of duct tape, or you know, maybe find something else I can you know make some body armor out of. Expect a part two to homemade body armor because this was a lot of fun. I enjoyed making it. I'm gonna keep this and maybe make a you know version two of construction paper and uh, duct tape. Um, but yeah, so, you know, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, liking, share. It would really help me out. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you all in the next one. I just got done editing the homemade body armor video. And I got a bonus clip. So I hope you all like it. Making my grandmother shoot my rifle. Fire when you're ready. Ooh. Did you hit it? I don't know. Did you have the crosshairs right on it? I don't know. Well, you shot it. <laughs>